the conning casa sa. An Akin does not speak like this, and a character from the father determines the character of the child. The dentent thick expectation, cha, also of the father and to which the child belongs, has strong indications for one's character and determines, among others, one's taboos and prohibitions. The fact that steps are taken to inculcate the expected character traits in the child also provides further basis for expecting children to exhibit these traits as the writer of Hebrews does of his audience. The author intends the qualities of Jesus portrayed in Hebrews to be seen as typical of members of the family of Therothar. There, there, be one's right attitude to suffering as faithful children of God. Jesus suffered death, which he tasted for everyone, and he was crowned with glory and honor as a result. Heb, he is faithful over God's house as a son. Heb, he was tempted, but no sin was found in him. Heb, Jesus succeeded in his faithfulness because he took to a number of ways. In the days of his flesh, he offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was Abeth. And being made perfect, he became the source of salvation to all who obey him, Heb. For the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross scorning its shame and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Heb, by all these, he managed to endure such hostility against him from sinners so that as the believers consider him, they too will not grow weary or faint-hearted. Heb, the implication for the believers is their brother, and Jesus, their believers, is clear. God, in this light, the description of Jesus as pioneer and perfecter of our faith has relevance for the audience to be like Jesus. The importance of the religious language used to describe the role of Jesus is significant. Jesus is the high priest of our confession, who is able to sympathize with us. He is also the great high priest who has passed through the heavens where he performs his sacrifice, Heb. The icons of Hebrews share in the belief of a life to those in after death, the Kedah. Quality of life as good life is different in the two. Eternal life as good life for the Ekin implies life without suffering and prosperity, but for Hebrews, it involves also the power to endure suffering and hostility in this present life. The Ekin adage a kokoba a obanan, no na odi ebi sri, the chick that stays with the hen, it's the thigh of the grasshopper speaks to me for allegiance to one's parent or leader in order to get that on The Evil Consequences of Disobedience these two adages reflect the social requirement that parents in particular and elders in general should be obeyed. The second social requirement of obedience and the evil consequences for disobedience. This Akin social requirement of obedience should give me a Hebrew's insistence that it is to those who obeys us that he is the salvation, emphasizing the need for the Lord. Hebrews to Geneva, to the Lord.
and outgroups unfavorably has similar use in the Ekin society. It has already been observed that Akans see themselves as the most civilized and foremost among their neighbors. Even among Akan tribes, such use of name and language exists. The import of such use of names and language by Hebrews is not difficult for the Akan to appreciate. Hebrews' description of his audience as God's house, Heb, and as people who have come to share in Christ by the wilderness jed by the wilderness generation, sinned, resulting in their bodies falling in the wilderness. For the Eichen Christian, the author's intent should be clear. He wants the believer to appreciate how better placed they are, so that they would persevere in their current difficult situation on account of how much God has accomplished for them, which must not be made to be in vain. Recall of shared historical memory as a feature of ethnicity is done for a variety of purposes. This practice in the Aiken's historical memory, historical memory of Tafo in Kumasi, Nana Ejin Frimpong, Recall the participants.